Hey everyone, it's Joe and Isaiah from the Automator. And we were working on this. Actually, it's a really cool script that we're working on. And Isaiah was telling me about this. He's like, hey, let's record this little bit here because there's a very weird gotcha dealing with hotkeys and finding it just doesn't find it where it should. And then the, the solution is to me really bizarre. He showed me, and I'm like, yeah, let's record this. So Isaiah, <laughs> why don't you show us, show us what was going on here? Yeah. So the, the, the context of this is that we are, I was just setting up a hotkey for a function. Now that function, I created it like this because it is a function that will be used in a menu. So the menu itself, when you run it, so when you go ahead and run it, there is a functionality down here. And as you can see, I got the error there, but there is this menu option here that says show the main GUI. And I just created this function just to show the GUI and so on. But as you can see, when I run this script, I get that the target label does not exist. And, and it was bizarre to me because the, I, I, I am sure that the function was created and it was included in specific places. And I just created this little demonstration here just to let you know how it looks like and what it is. So I just use the hotkey command. I'm just referring to a function. And the people who have run into this are like, yeah, I know what he's talking about. But <laughs> the problem is that if you have never seen this, it's going to be very weird for you to figure out what is going on. So you have a hotkey, you're referring to a function, that function exists, is right next to it, right? Um, that function has one parameter. Uh, in my case, it had three parameters, but so long as it has one parameter, that's when you're going to hit the issue. And I just have this GUI here with the text and it's going to be shown. So there's nothing weird, you know, to, to, you know, that would prompt you to think that there would be a problem, but basically you're going to get this error saying that the target label does not exist. And I'm like, hold on. Target label does not exist. Now, right. basically, if you just go ahead and put a, 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 a label like this, it works. So basically, as, as, so long as you do that, it works. And if you hit Control H, it works. So hold on. I remember that from a uh, version on, you could specify the name of a function here. And, and I could demonstrate that. If you just remove the parameter here, you will notice that now, it is working fine as well. So yes, you can you can uh, put just the name of a function and it will work. Now the problem is as as soon as you have a parameter, something is going on, and you will see what is going on in a second. Uh, oh, so, I get it, and I understand. Right, so now that it has a parameter, it tells you that the target label does not exist. Right, which is a bad error, but yeah. It is a bad error. <laughs> that's, that's the problem. The issue here is why. that the error is not telling you the full story. The thing is that every single function that has different parameters acts as a different function. So basically for many programming languages and also this one here, these two functions uh -huh. are different things. That's what happens. I get it. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So basically, if you have, and basically over on the top, what is going on is that uh, right. basically what you're doing here at the top is that you're telling it called this function and ignore these three, these other two. Okay. Yeah. That's what is going on. The problem is that you cannot pass parameters to this thing anyways. So basically, you're always calling the first function. But the error, the error just tells you right. that the target label does not exist. Yeah. And you're like, what does that even mean? Okay. Now, if you if you like me, I'm going to show you the solution first. Oh, I, yeah. The solution is just make the parameter optional. Well, well so you give it you give it a value, right? I think that's what's happening, right? You're now you're setting it. If I don't pass something, give it a value, and that's why it works. Right. So basically, give it a value, and basically, what is you're defining? Whenever you define parameters that are optional, you're defining two functions at once mm. in a hidden way. In in the sense that you're passing one of them that has nothing and one of them that has a zero on it. And that's the reason why as soon as you make this 
uh, an optional parameter, then this will find the function because it is finding one without a parameter, which is what an optional parameter means that you have a function that takes no parameters as well. So that's what is going on. Now, the funny thing is, yes, adding, making the parameter optional is the solution to this, but the error is not giving you that anywhere. And how did you, how can you figure that one out? So how will you, or how did I figure that one out at, at least? It was me trying certain things. So one of the things that you can pass to a hotkey like this is a function object. So what I did is like, okay, so I cannot pass a function like this. Let me pass a function object. So for oh, that, okay. I just use the function yeah. and do this. Now, yeah. when you pass a function object like this, and let's just go ahead and it is a variable, by the way. So that is a variable and that variable contains a function object and now you pass it in here now the error is going to be a little bit different and it says parameters of hotkey functions must be optional so now now it tells you the correct error this is the correct error so the correct error is well i found the function but the functions if you if, if it has parameters they should be optional and when I pass it like that, that's when I figured out what should I do. But, and the reason why I wanted to kind of like tell you, just record this is, yeah, this error is completely cryptic and it doesn't tell you what is going on. It is not that your target label does not exist. It is that the function, it has no optional parameters. So in case that you're dealing with hotkeys, and you, you're scratching your head as to what the heck is going on. Well, this is what is going on. You should make your <laughs> function parameters optional. For, that is only for the hot key command, okay? In other situations, this is not, uh, well, at least that I know of. Uh, in other situations, you do not run into this issue like that. But in this case, you do, if you're using the hot key command and you're passing a function, then you have to make sure that the parameters are optionals or have a value to them. Yeah, very, very cool. Okay. Writing that down. Cheers. Bye. Hey, I hope you enjoyed watching that video. And I don't know if you know it, but I do a weekly newsletter. So you can subscribe to it here, the-automator.com slash news. It'll take you to a form you fill in. I don't ever use your email for anything else. I don't give it to anybody else. I don't sell it, but I just do weekly notifications of things I've worked on, articles I'm reading, other people's videos, things from the forum, things all around automation or auto hotkey. So please sign up. Cheers.